The parasympathetic nervous system, you already know this, kind of. It is going to, these cell bodies that are projecting out to cause the heart, the intestinal tract, all those organs, right, that we listed, um, where's the cell body within, so this, we said it was a cranium and sacral spinal cord. Let's say this is our sacral spinal cord, right? A sacral spinal section. When I say, where do they come from? What do I mean? Where? I mean the lateral horn. There is going to be a cell body in the lateral horn of the spinal cord that is going to go which way? Well, it can't go out that way. Nope, nope. It's gonna go out the ventral horn, ventral root, travel through the spinal nerve, and then to the target organ. There's a long preganglionic neuron. And then very near our heart, we're gonna have a synapse. Here is our postganglionic neuron. Actually, I'm going to make it even a little shorter than that. This is not like where things are in the body. This is just relative um, ideas of things. So this would be the heart here. Our ganglia is very close to the heart. This is called a terminal ganglia. The ganglion is very close to the effector. Oh, this is way too big. The other term for this is going to be intramural ganglia. That's when it is pretty much inside the target organ is what that refers to, intramural. So that's for this example here where it's very, very close. Let's go to a better image of this. A lot more information here. This is everything you know though, right? You know about all these. There might be a few new ones, right? There's a lot of organs innervated by the autonomic nervous system. I'm not going to ask you to regurgitate every one to me. These are the effectors, right? Knowing that these are effectors is important. And then let's go down here to kind of this, these lower portions here. We've got our spinal nerve. This originates in the lateral horn. We've got plexuses here. So what are these circled things? Plexuses. This is where that braiding occurs between different spinal nerves. These plexuses are fairly distal. And then we've got the continuing of the autonomic nerve fibers to the organ. Okay, so here, let's look at this. You can hardly even see the ganglia in there. There's a ganglia, there's a ganglia. This black thing here, let me actually make that black. That is our post ganglionic neuron. I'm gonna label it in black. It is so short. This ganglia, these ones down here, pretty much all of the visceral organs, everything from here down, this is going to be. intramural ganglia because they're basically located at the organ.